Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. Now if you've been watching some of my recent videos you'll have seen that I've been covering making more replacement capes for a lot of the vintage Star Wars figures and today we're going to do another of those and that is the cape for the Ugnaught from Empire Strikes Back. Now in front of me you can see a couple of Ugnaughts that I have in my collection. This one here on the right is one that I've had for many many years and as you can see the cape has faded to a sort of soft lilac-y purple colour and here is another one that I picked up fairly recently where the cape is not quite so faded and is more of the original blue hue that uh, the cape should be and actually you can see uh, that one of these capes is on the wrong way around the uh, cape on this guy here is actually inside out it should be like this so what we're going to do today is we're going to make a replacement cape for an Ugnaught now I've already taken the cape off this little guy and if you see here it's just a case of unhooking a little bit of string on the back and then you can take the cape off and carefully pull it over the head of the Ugnaught and you'll see that is what the cape should look like. So what I've done is I've sat that on my flatbed scanner and scanned it in and then taken that image into Photoshop to produce a pattern that we can work from. On a cape like this creating the pattern is a fairly simple thing to do just because there is only one small piece that you've got to make. So it only took me five minutes to create the pattern that we could use and here it is now printed out. As you can see I've printed this just onto a normal piece of paper uh, and on the back of this piece of paper I've stuck a couple of little bits of double sided tape because this will help us in the next process. So once it's all printed out like this we now need to cut this out and with all of my patterns basically if you cut away the grey edge and you're just left with the white inner with the Toy Floyd logo on it that is all you need so let's get this cut out and then we can start the construction of the cape So here is the cape pattern all cut out. Now the hardest thing to do is probably find material. I went down to the local haberdashery shop that we have here and I picked up this quite thin sort of cotton material in a blue. Now it looks like it doesn't match the original but actually the original should be a lot bluer than this. So you can see this one is very faded and as I showed you in my previous one is almost purple uh, but the original fabric should be this sort of blue colour. But I wasn't really that happy with this cotton. It's It looks alright but the edges of it are going to fray quite a lot. So I decided to go again and see what I could find. So I picked up some blue felt as well. Now this is slightly different felt to the one I used on the Emperor's Royal Guard. It's a little bit thinner, a little bit sort of more, it's got a more of a sort of polished finish to it and I think this should work nicely and the colour match is pretty good. If I hold the original over it you can see if that wasn't so faded it would match quite nicely. So we're going to use this felt as our basis for the cape. So what we need is here is the pattern as I showed you before I put some double sided tape on the back of that so we can just remove the double sided tape like so and I'm going to stick the pattern just in the corner and then I can now easily cut around that and the pattern is not going to move. So let's get this cut out and we can start the next process. So now that's cut out we can remove the pattern because it's double sided taped on shouldn't be too hard to just peel that off like so and there we have a nicely cut out cape. Now we have the cape cut out we can move on to attaching the sort of string. Now on the original cape you can see that it looks a bit like two bits of string that have been woven together. Now I couldn't find anything exactly the same as that so actually what I'm going to use is some elastic. You can buy some two millimeter flat black elastic. Uh, you can buy an awful lot of this for very little money. You can see here I actually have five meters of this and that cost under two pounds. That was the smallest amount I could buy but it does proved to be very useful if you're doing other restorations. And this I think is actually quite a good match. You can see it's about the right thickness and so it will work quite nicely. So we're going to use a length of this to recreate the uh, little string on the Ugnaught cape. So I'm just going to cut off a length of it. I'm not going to cut off an exact amount at the moment because we can easily trim that at a later date. So I'm just going to cut off a length and we can get to sewing this in place. Now we have to do a little bit of sewing. So I've got some uh, blue cotton here. Now this blue is slightly darker than the uh, little bit of felt I got there, but that should match quite nicely. And really all we've got to do is I'm going to sort of roughly line it up so I've got about the right length, is sew this little bit along the edge there 
and then we'll make a loop and sew it around the other side. So it should be a fairly straightforward job. You just got to bend the elastic so that it matches nicely to the slight curve of uh, the cape there. So let's get this sewn in place. That's the first side sewn on, so now we can do the second side and we want to make sure that the uh, elastic is nice and flat. So I'm just going to rotate that around, make sure we've got a nice little loop. And we want it about the same size as the original, so make sure you just sort of adjust that. It needs to be something like that and then we can then go ahead and sew this other piece on and then we'll trim the little uh, side bits to be the correct length. So let's get this one sewn on. Right, correct. That's good. So I've now got all the sewing done, so all that's left to do is to trim the little bits of elastic to be about the right length. So I'm going to just uh, hold those onto the original and we can chop that end off there. And then I use that as the guide for the other one so they are exactly the same, like so. And there we have it, one replacement cape for an Ugnaught. So let's get that on the Ugnaught and we'll see what they look like together. And here we have it, as you can see it doesn't look too shabby, that looks like quite a good cape and it does match the original Ugnaught cape, so there's another little figure ready to go back on display. Obviously it takes a little time to make these, you are going to need a little bit of felt and you need to be able to do a little bit of sewing, but it's fairly basic sewing on this one, so I think most people should be able to do it. Now the pattern for this Ugnaught cape you can get for free at toypoloi.com and if you found this video interesting and would like to help out Toypoloi then please check out my Patreon page, links to that are in the description description for this video and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Poloi. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Poloi on Twitter and Facebook.